So we made the bathroom a little bit bigger. On the grand tour of her new home, the kitchen is spacious. Sarah Schwegel's spirit lights up the walls with hope. It's been a really amazing place to live. For her entire life, she's turned the barriers of her diagnosis into mere stepping stones on her journey. I mean, I want a water balloon. Sarah was born with SMA, spinal muscular atrophy, a disease that progressively weakens the muscles to the point that you can't even cough, which makes a common cold uncommonly frightening. I spent a lot of time in children's hospital. One, two, three, up she goes. But her childhood was transformed one week every summer at MDA camp. When you are at MDA camp and you are surrounded by people who understand what you're going through, it's relaxing and you can let go and you feel free because you don't have to just be on guard and aware of how your disability makes you just slightly different. What would you like to tell them? Um, please call. Through our local MDA telethon broadcasts, we watch Sarah grow up. She'd be right by my side every Labor Day. Jerry Lewis! And then Sarah went national. I told everyone at MDA that I think you're so adorable. It was on the national MDA telethon in 2001 that Jerry Lewis asked Sarah to be MDA's goodwill ambassador. That year, Sarah was the face of the fight, not just for St. Louis, but for the entire country. She says the opportunity help shape the trajectory of her life. It has really given me the opportunity to figure out who I am and learn how to be a public presence and um, advocate for people with and without disabilities to make sure that everyone gets um, equal access and treatment. After earning a bachelor's degree from Maryville University and a master's from St. Louis U, her education continues this fall. I'm getting ready to go back to school for um, my doctorate in occupational therapy, which is something I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. My prayer was always that God um, keep her happy and give her work to do, um, and he listens. And apparently, he's still listening. For the first time in years, Sarah is rekindling her passion for art, thanks to a new drug called Evrisd. I can move my arms so much more. I'm able to do art again. I can bake. I can set up my own meals now a little bit. It's really incredible just to have like 5% more independence. The drug was funded in part from your donations to the Muscular Dystrophy Association. When she was born, girls with SMA were not expected to live past their teens. But Sarah recently celebrated her 30th birthday. I am so thankful for everyone who has been alongside us in this fundraising effort and the fight for equal access. We can use technology and build communities that are welcoming and offer everyone what they need to thrive and survive. Sarah Schweigel, defying limitations and becoming an inspiration to us all.